We are now at the Vicksburg Military Park. Vicksburg National Military Park is the site of the famous Civil War siege and defense of Vicksburg, Mississippi in 1863. President Lincoln considered Vicksburg the key to the South. Today, the park features nearly 1,400 monuments and markers along 20 miles of reconstructed trenches and earthworks. Visit the 16-mile Tura Road 144 Cannon and Vicksburg National Cemetery honoring the fallen and veterans of the siege. Plus, tour the USS Cario, the ironclad gunboat sunk by a Confederate mine. The park store at Vicksburg National Military Park offers a huge selection of gifts, games, books, maps, tours, apparel, and more. Their collection of quality products help tell the amazing story of the Civil War at Vicksburg. 100% of their profits go back to the park to help protect it for future generations. So stop in today. They'd love to see you.
Hello friends, this is Tim Williams with Outdoor Trail Hikers, Camping and Overlanding. On September 28th, 2019, we visited Vicksburg, Mississippi and explored the National Military Park there. The park is pretty good size and it has a drive-through tour that you can take. Plan to take at least two hours depending on how much you want to get out and check things out. There's a lot of reading that can be done at this park so it can take a lot of time if you really get out and investigate. We didn't get pictures of everything and we didn't videotape everything. There's just too much at this park to be able to do that. So we, we're just going to share what we did get, and we tried to put it together in the, the best fashion that we could. So I hope y'all enjoy the following videos and pictures. And I'll just talk a little bit about what Vicksburg is all about and the siege of Vicksburg uh, during the American Civil War. The siege of Vicksburg was a major victory for the Union during the Civil War. The Union Army surrounded the city of Vicksburg, Mississippi and eventually took control. The siege took much longer than your typical battle. It began on May 18, 1863 and lasted over a month until July 4th of 1863. The commander for the Union forces was General Ulysses S. Grant, Grant led the Army of Tennessee and had over 35,000 men under his command. Under Union generals included William T. Sherman and John McLaren. The leader of the Confederates was General John Pemberton, who commanded the South's Army of Mississippi. He had only 18,000 soldiers under his command. The city of Vicksburg is located on Mississippi River. It was the last major port on the river held by the South. If the North could take Vicksburg, the Confederacy would be cut off from supply lines to the West. Also, rebel states such as Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas would be isolated from the rest of the South. That's why Vicksburg was so important. Before the battle, the siege of Vicksburg was the end of the long series of battles in the Western Theatre of the Civil War called the Vicksburg Campaign. The Union Army led by General Grant had won a number of battles against the Confederates pushing them back towards Vicksburg. They also captured the city of Jackson, the capital of Mississippi. Grant approached the city slowly, forcing the Confederates to retreat before him. While approaching the city, he captured the local railroad, and secured his own supply lines while isolating the city of Vicksburg. On May 18th of 1863, Grant's army approached Vicksburg. The Confederate Army of General Pemberton were dug in. They were going to be nearly impossible defeat while hiding behind the defenses of the city. Over the first couple of days, Grant tried to break into the city by overwhelming them with his superior numbers. It didn't work. Many Union soldiers lost their lives and the Confederates still held the city. Grant then decided to lay siege to the city. He would bomb them constantly and wait until they ran out of food. He knew that eventually they would have to surrender. The conditions in the city got worse and worse over the next several weeks. The people in the city began to run out of food they started to eat anything available, including the horses, dogs, and cats. Near the end, they were even eating rats and tree bark. Because of malnutrition, many of the soldiers became sick from disease like scurvy, dysentery, and malaria. In addition to not having food, the city was constantly being bombed. People couldn't safely walk the streets or live in their homes. They had to hide day and night in their basements and dug out caves in the hills. On July 4th, 1863, the Confederates had had enough. General Pemberton surrendered to Grant. 
The results, the siege of Vicksburg was a great victory for the Union and gave control of the Mississippi River to the Union. Around the same time, the Confederate Army under General Robert E. Lee was defeated at the Battle of Gettysburg. These two victories marked the major turning point of the Civil War in favor of the Union. A few interesting facts about the Siege of Vicksburg is Grant at first demanded unconditional surrender. He later relented and the captured prisoners were paroled instead of taken prisoner. This meant they promised not to fight again, although many of them did. Confederate General Pemberton later resigned as a general, but continued to fight for the South as a lieutenant colonel. Around 24,000 people live in the city of Vicksburg today. Legend has it that the people of Vicksburg did not celebrate the 4th of July for the next 80 years, as this was the day they surrendered to Grant. Many historians, however, say this is not the case. I hope y'all enjoyed the short little skit for the Vicksburg, Mississippi National Military Park. It was a great place to go visit, full of a lot of history. We have several uh, little videos on our YouTube channel about Vicksburg, Mississippi's National Park and the town of Vicksburg. So I hope y'all enjoyed all of them. If you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and hit that thumbs down. Be sure you hit that bell icon so you get notifications when we post new videos. And please hit the subscribe button and grow with our channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy our future videos.